I can't believe we're all sitting here, honestly. But I can't believe that Jacob is here. But I guess personal wealth beats GPA. Fuck you, man. I earned my way into college just like the rest of you. Yeah, more like your parents earned enough money to tip off admissions. Will the both of you guys just shut up for once? Let's just be happy we made it to the same college. For real, guys. It's our first day of class, and all you can think about is fighting. Yeah, you're right. We should be talking about more important matters, like how me, a business major, is in three history classes and an art class. It's called the liberal arts experience. It makes you more well-rounded. Yeah, it sounds more like a scam and them trying to get money out of me. Shut up, guys. We're gonna be late for class. Yeah, you're right. I gotta get to... Secret societies. It's my FYS. I don't get why we can't just choose our own classes in the first semester. And why is this college obsessed with old cults? Hey, no way. I'm in that class too. So we can walk over together. And maybe we'll find out that this place really is a cult. Did you guys know they have secret passages? There you go with your conspiracy theories. Those are just for convenience sake. That's it. You're no fun. None of us are going to be having fun if we're late for class. We gotta go. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> So all we're going over is the syllabus. Attendance is mandatory. Well, well, well. Late on the first day of class. That doesn't bode well to a strong semester. Sorry, Professor. We were caught up in the passages looking for the classroom. Hey, man. It's the first day of class. Take it easy. Yeah. I'm just giving you a hard time. Take a seat. We're going over the syllabus today. Where was I? Oh yeah, welcome to Secret Societies. Maybe some of you are familiar with the Illuminati or the Skull and Bones. We will be diving into these real societies and many more that you probably have never heard of and how they may affect your life. I am sure you've heard the stories about this fine institution. I'm sorry, Professor, what stories about hope? Don't worry, we'll be getting into that next class. I'm going to get the computer started up and we will begin. Yeah, right. Like he really expects us to believe that in 2023, some secret society is going to have an impact on our life. On the other hand, you could just take a closer look around campus and it might just change your mind. What do you mean? Have you heard about the tunnels? Yeah, yeah, I've heard all about the tunnels. Tell me something I don't know. Hmm, let me think. Have you heard about the secret room in Lovers? What's this about a secret room? Shannon butt out. Michael, shut up. So sorry about him. What's your name? It's all right. I'm Mary. And I'm butting in. We are beginning. All right, I hope you all enjoyed the video of the Illuminati and Skull and Bones. A real secret society on a real college campus. Really makes you wonder how many other colleges are similar. Perhaps they're better at keeping secrets. Anyways, please just find the discussion post on Moodle. And if you see anything unusual, Report back. Damn, that was a weird first class. One hell of a way to introduce us to Hope College, don't you think? That's for sure. But I can say I'm really excited for the next class. Yeah, I bet you can't wait to see Mary again, huh? Ha ha ha. Let's go meet up with the other. Seriously, what's one rogue associate? Julian, we need to take this seriously. We cannot take a chance on this situation. Shh, shh, shh. Can't be talking about this all out in the middle of campus. What are students doing? I don't think you understand the urgency of this situation. Trust me. Okay, we can move swiftly, but not here. Meet me in the meeting room, 10 o'clock tonight. Well, I guess you're the boss. Y'all will not believe what just happened today. I spit it out. I was supposed to be playing stud of the town with the people on my floor. You were wondering why we didn't room together? There you go. Um, the real reason we didn't room because I'm not an athlete. I didn't want to get woken up at 6 a.m. every day. Shut up. The real reason is because you can't stop arguing. Michael, will you just fill us in already? Okay, 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 okay. 
So the story begins with Shannon making us both late to class because she was looking at this weird symbol outside of Lubbers forever. Hey man, I was intrigued. You cannot tell me that symbol isn't fascinating. I gotta know what it means. See what I mean? It could be... Anyways. So we get to class, finally. And the professor is... How do I say this? Strange. I mean, I know the class is called Secret Societies, but this man is obsessed. He says that we're, you know, literally being controlled by cults or something. I've always heard of college profs smoking or taking shrooms. This guy must be off his rocker. I'm not sure, Taylor. There's this girl named Mary who's convinced that Hope is a cult. <laughs> I was wondering when you are going to bring up Mary. Will you quit it? Anyways, she was telling us about the secret room in Lovers when she got cut off. I wish we could have talked to her after, but she had to run. No, wait a minute. You guys are taking this stuff seriously? You haven't heard the best part yet. So Shannon and I were walking through the Pine Grove, but we saw the president talking to some old random dude. He was trying to shut him up, but... He told him to meet him tonight at Lovers at the room at 10 p.m. or something. It sounded like the matter was urgent or something. The way they made it seem, they've got some secrets they don't want the students to know about. Okay, big deal. You heard the president set up a meeting with the professor. Seems like you guys are making something out of nothing. Aren't you curious what room he's talking about? Why didn't he give the name of it? That's just weird, man. I'm willing to bet it's the secret room Mary was telling us about. I think you're full of shit. Taylor, what do you think? Do you think we should go to Lovers tonight and try to figure anything out? Yeah, I'm gonna have to agree with Jacob. But it's syllabus week. We have nothing to do tonight. Let's go. Fine, but for the record, I'm just going so I can laugh at you guys. All right, let's split up and see if we can find anything. If you do, send a message to the group chat. Maybe there's strength in numbers. Michael, you come with me. Shannon and Jacob, you guys stick together. We can cover more ground and not be alone. You guys can't be serious. It's just a building full of classrooms and offices. My roommate told me it's a place where freshmen come to drink because no one ever comes here. We ain't no mystery here. But come on, Scooby. Let's go be some meddling kids. What did I say? Nothing from Michael and Taylor. We haven't found anything here. Give me a break, Jacob. All I'm saying is you guys can benefit from listening to me a little more. Shh. Don't shh me. Jacob, stop talking for once and listen. John, this is ridiculous. You can't be serious. I'm afraid I am. That's the same name we heard earlier. Call, text Michael and Taylor. Okay, okay, okay. That's a weird coincidence. I'd say it's more than just a coincidence. You know, I'm really happy that you wanted to go with me tonight. Um, I'm happy that we got to spend some time together. Just, just the two of us. You know. Now, don't get all weird on me, but I've been looking for an excuse to hang out with you. As much as I hate to say this, hold that thought. Just got a message from Jacob saying they may have found something. Either that or Shannon's going completely insane. Oh, okay. Let's go see what they found. This is insane. See, I told you we were going to find something. Alright, what's going on up here? You were kind of in the middle of something. Ew. Get your mind out of the gutter. Guys, for the love of God, be quiet. Listen. This is what needs to be done. It's too late. The board has determined this is the only solution. Screw the board. I'm the damn president. How the hell this happened? How did I know? Oh, come on, Julian. You know the title of president is just that. A title. The board is the one that has 
the real power. I'm just the messenger. Whatever, man. Just make it painless. What the hell was that? Now do you believe me? What What are they talking about? Are they going to kill someone? Before you two got here, they were talking about some professor teaching a class he shouldn't be. You don't think? I have no idea. This wasn't supposed to actually lead to anything. I was just bored and curious. They can't be talking about Professor Granger. Well, now we have to do something, right? Where the hell did they go? The only way out was through this door. If they would have come out, we would have been toast. This is the only entrance. Maybe those secret tunnels are real. Maybe they you have a secret staircase or something that leads out. Of course it's locked. Did you think they would leave it unlocked so anyone could barge in on them? <sighs> Maybe they're lazy. You dumbass! Boys, stop it. We need to figure out what the hell is going on. We don't know what's going on. We have no evidence or proof. Taylor's right, guys. We need to figure out a plan. How about we try to break down the door? Give it a try. That was something to see. Yeah, I think we need a new plan. Yeah, no shit. I, I think we need to find out who the other person is. I think I heard the name John. Let's look him up in the directory. There's a million Johns in the directory. How the hell are we gonna figure out who this guy is? We need to get in contact with Professor Granger. How? There's no way that he's gonna see an email at this hour. Guys, guys, calm down. We got this way out of context. No one's gonna get hurt. The board they're talking about is probably just the board of trustees. And they're firing someone. Honestly, that makes sense. I mean, this isn't some murder mystery show. It's Hope College. Did you not hear what they were talking about? They're obviously talking about killing someone. Michael, you've got to have my back on this. We've got to do something. Shannon, I'm, I'm sorry, but Jacob and Taylor are right. Even if you were right, nobody would believe us. And trust me, I don't blame them. So, no one is going to do anything? Well, I guess after all this, I thought you would have finally taken me seriously. I guess things never change. Maybe we were a little too harsh. I mean, not really. She was in her own head. She was freaking us all out. I'm not going to lie. I believed her for a second there, but I can't believe Jacob was the voice of reason. What can I say? Let's get out of here. Southfield, so like right by Detroit. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Um, w I wonder where Professor Granger is. Yeah. yeah. Hope nothing happened to him. Hello, class. I'll uh, cut right to the chase. My name is Professor John Green, and I'm new to Hope College, but I will be your professor for the rest of the semester. Uh, what happened to Professor Granger? Class, I have some terrible news to share with you. It is with heavy heart that I relay that Professor Granger was in a terrible accident and did not make it. Today will be a day of remembrance for him and questions about the rest of the semester. CAPS will be open for counseling services, whoever needs it, and other college resources will be available. Oh shit.